Hi everybody, it's Donna from Donna's DreamWorks.blogspot.com uh, Today I'm going to show you how I put together a really cute but simple birthday card. It's cute but simple and it uses lots of tools. So let's get started and see how we put it together. The card base is a standard A2 size. That's an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper cut in half and then scored at 4 and a quarter. The next piece is 5 and a quarter by 4 and I'm going to use my corner chomper and chomp the corners. And we'll do the same with the orange. And then the next mat is my printed paper, and this comes from the Sweets collection. I got that at um, Michael's when they had them on sale. I think they were five for a dollar. Really cute. It has so many different pastel colors in it that it really lends you to making cards of all different colors. And that's that one. And that will layer like this. Okay. Now my next layer uses the next tool. And this is going to be using the Martha Stewart punch around the page. This piece is three and a quarter by five. And we're going to start off by doing the four corners. Okay, one little piece there. All right. Then we're going to take the edge punch, and this one should line up so that it's right in the middle and you make one more punch. Here's hoping. Very nice. Do the other end. Very good. And then we'll do the sides. And when you do the sides, you want to line up the edge with the edge that's on this punch right here making sure you keep it to the as far into the punch as you can get and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side lining it up right here with this one and we'll do one more side line it up on this end And there you go, a perfectly punched all the way around the page. Now let's eliminate some of this. And the reason I have the scoreboard up here is because I cut out an ice cream cone for the front of this card. And what I'm going to do is try to make this look a little bit more like an ice cream cone. And the way I do that is to take a corner of the cone and put it into one of the grooves at the school board and I'm going to just start making score marks at every quarter inch and you can go up a little higher it doesn't have to go all the way to the top but you want to make sure that you go uh, up to where your ice cream will sit on the top of the cone okay and then once you've done that you're just going to switch it around put the opposite corner and we're going to make another row And there you go. Then you have a waffling effect on your cone. I think you can see it a little better if you look on this side. Okay, that's all we need the school board for. But what I'm going to do now is to take some Tim Holtz Distress Ink and just put a little bit of it on this raised area. And I'm using the side where it's raised And by putting this Distress Ink on there, it just shows those grooves up just a little bit more. 
This is Tattered Rose, so it's, it's a very light shade. Okay. And now we're just going to add our ice cream. And I'm going to be using a Craft Bond glue from Elmer's Paper Craft Glue Gel. It's a hundred years old, but it still works fine. And I have all of these glues and gels that I've picked up over the years. And I decided I might as well start using them. One of the good things about using uh, glues on something that you're putting together is it does give you a little bit of wiggle room when you put it together if you have to move it around to get it centered or, or layer it correctly. Where if you're using your ATG or even your glue pen, they dry so quickly you really don't have much of an opportunity to make corrections. And there you go. There's your ice cream and the ice cream cone. But I think I like my ice cream to be smiling. So I'm going to use a peachy keen stamp and give this ice cream cone a smiley face. There you go. Isn't that cute? Alright, so let's put our card together. And we'll get out the ATG for this part. sure I've got my card orientation correct. See, I always put it on upside down. Now for this piece I'm going to go back and use some of the glue. I can get close to the edges. Uh, I'm not putting anything on the punched edge. You really don't need to. If you insist you could use a glue pen, but that would be rather time consuming. So we'll see if we can get this right in the middle. And straight. Now before I put the ice cream on, I'm going to stamp a happy birthday. The happy birthday is from a stamping up set from 2006 called Blooming with Happiness. It's got some really cute stamps in here. But this is just a small happy birthday that fits nicely at the bottom of this mat. Okay, one more step to do. We're just going to put our ice cream cone up on some foam dots. This is the second time I've made this video. The first time all you saw was the bottom half of everything. So hopefully you're seeing the whole card this time. And there you go, your birthday card. I have another mat of that same paper that I'm going to put on the inside. 
and then we'll attach a plain sediment mat on top of that. And you notice I'm turning my card all around. Make sure I put it in the right direction when I stop. Okay. And there you go. Is a very simple but cute birthday card. And this is another one that I made a little earlier using just some different colors. And you can see this paper lends you to using lots of different colors. So that's my birthday cards for today. Have a great day. Play nice. See you later. Thanks for stopping by at Donna's DreamWorks.blogspot.com.